Hello, this is Terry with Blade Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you guys a uh, portable slingshot target system that I put together. Some people have IM me and asked me how did I make my slingshot target, so I brought it with me to South Alabama. I'm going to set it up and I'll talk about it, so stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, my slingshot uh, target system is pretty basic, just using PVC. I think that's uh, just uh, three quarter inch PVC um, with some T joints, some uh, L joints, things like that. And that's the bottom, that's the legs, that's the center, and this is the top. And this holds my targets here. And if you notice, I am using uh, uh, leather, uh, pieces of leather, put through paracord uh, to shoot at. I've got that major one. I got some three smaller ones here. I got some various clamps to hold things together, uh, especially the towels that I use I'm shooting against. And I just got some old uh, towels and I put two of them together that seems to work the best. And everything will fit in this rubber tub. And uh, I also use a rubber tub to save the steel balls that I shoot and uh, I'll show you that. So. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up and uh, let's get some target practice.
got it set up and uh, simple to do, simple to make, uh, no great explanations on how I set it up. Uh, what I did discover was that these leather, round leather targets that I made are excellent. You know, they can stay out, stay wet. Matter of fact, the wet and the drier they become, um, it gives it uh, a sound when it hits, when that steel ball hits that leather, a nice sound. And that really, it's really neat. So we'll demonstrate that. So it's really basic on top here. I did have this bar running all the way across here and it broke, but I decided, you know what? I don't even need it. But what I can do is actually hang some paracord with a, a bottle or a can and just swing it around and put it here as a target too on, on either side. So that worked out great. And I can also put a piece of plywood between the two bars right up above here and uh, put some bottles or cans on and shoot those off. So I'll demonstrate that. So let's take a few shots and I'll show you guys what it looks like and hopefully what it sounds like. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm going to start off at this distance. It's about 30 foot between the target and I'm going to stand about right here. So that's about 30 foot. So uh, let's go ahead and then take a few shots and see how I do. Okay, I got it set up. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, not, not my accuracy right now, but at least how the target works and how it saves my steel balls and goes down into the plastic tub. So I uh, take a couple of shots and you'll see. This just demonstrates uh, the balls being caught and put back in a plastic tub. There's the pop I wanted to hear. And as you can see, the steel balls from the target to the towels and steel balls are in the uh, plastic tub. So it works fine. Now I just got to practice uh, to be able to actually hit consistently. Okay, it's supposed to rain tonight and I'll just show you how I waterproof it and really it's not that much to it. And I'll just leave it like that uh, until tomorrow after it quits raining. But really, the only thing I'm concerned about is just the towels getting wet. The leather itself, the leather, the, the leather cutouts themselves, like I said before, is, is more often they get wet and dry. It just makes that sound of hitting it even uh, louder, bolder, I guess you could call it, or cooler maybe. So, uh, Try some more target practice tomorrow and then I'll tear it down. Okay, let's tear it down and pack it up.
Okay, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe learn a little bit about uh, making a uh, slingshot target and uh, uh, saving the uh, steel ball bearings that you're using. So uh, stay tuned. I'll have some more adventure videos out later. I'm going to be making the second part of my small game hunting with a slingshot uh, coming up, part two. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.